Hello everybody, today I am at National Wild Transport, I am at their yard. I came over here because they called me about this Volvo truck right here. Their mechanics have been checking it and trying to figure out what's going on. The problem that this specific truck has is then it is no power at all inside the cab. The dashboard is completely sees like it was running as you can see if you turn the ignition on it doesn't do anything there is no lights no power at all anywhere um, this specific volvo has a volvo engine um, but the engine has nothing to do with the problem that we have here so it's very important for all of you that are trying to figure out problems like that to go to the basics because uh, right now for sure there is no power over here so that means there is no power even on those little lights over there if you push them and there is no power that means that the power distribution center is the one that is causing that problem and that starts from the batteries so you have to inspect batteries and all that so the main source of no power in the cabin or no power at all usually is the negative cable of the um, of the power source of any truck or any car. It doesn't matter what type of vehicle this is, because the uh, negative power uh, source, I'm sorry, is the one that gets co corroded the most. It, it gets weak most of the time. The cable gets damaged and all that. So. On this specific Volvo, there is a specific fuse that is located here in this cable. It goes all across. See this cable over here? It goes all the way over here and then it gets thinner over here and it goes over here. Over here there is a fuse. Uh, it is not actually a fuse but it's like a, a power uh, resistor over here then if it goes more than whatever power is going through, it just breaks to protect the system. But um, there is no way to check it. So the only way to check that is using a power source um, a checker like the one I have here, the Power Pro. This is a Power Pro. This is an old style. There is a new style and all that, but I don't care about new style. This one works well. You don't need new power uh, probes. This is just enough to do the job because like $100 now, it used to be like $300 in the past, but uh, now it got cheap because new version of this power probe have come. So here is the, uh, this, the, and the number, I don't know, I don't see. Well, it's the Power Pro 3 that's what it called so you connect this to the positive and the negative i've been using this like for like what like five six years this specific power pro so it's a very uh experienced veteran uh power pro that i've been using but the thing is like uh, you're gonna be using this to apply power or to apply ground in this case we have ground here you can see this is ground we have ground here so this cable goes across the batteries and goes all the way over here so over here supposed to be um, negative power so if I go here see see we have positive power so this is something wrong because this cable comes all the way from the batteries uh, that means that it has to be negative so if I apply negative power to this the ignition has to turn on. So what I wanna do is grab this end. See this other end over here? It goes from the power pro. This other end over here, it is just negative power. So what I'm gonna do is come and hook it all the way there. Like this, see? See? You can hear everything running now, see? Ignition is back on place and as you can see the dashboard is functional now see We have power. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to start the engine So I will try because this is not the full power But this is just the bypass of the power so the other power 
goes around. So it's a kind of relay. So I will try to start it to see if it runs. Yeah, it does. So that was the whole problem with this truck. The that negative power was the one of this problem. So if I disconnect that right now, the engine will shut down automatically because there is not um, continuous negative power to to the uh, electric electronic components to this engine. So basically, this is all I'm going to show you right now. Pretty easy problem, well, for me at the moment because I have experience. But if you don't know anything about it, that's the reason why I'm doing this video so you know how to start checking, especially this Volvo truck. And this will work for Volvos that have come inside a sex engines as well because the system of the power source is similar the, uh, and, and it doesn't matter what type of engine or transmission has uh, equipped uh, the, the truck. So pretty much uh, this is all I'm going to show you right now about this uh, specific problem. Um, this nationwide truck is now going to be ready to go back on the road um, other mechanic came and asked and, and, and check it out and this mechanic was saying about replacing the computer and replacing that um, it is not the case because you have to go to the basics always if you are a mechanic or technician go to the basics if you have this kind of problems don't go all the way to replacing computers and all that because usually it's just one fuse or something like that but you have to know where to check that's the main problem because not much people know where to check so this it is just advice for all the mechanics and technicians uh, doesn't mean that you have to follow my instructions if you don't want to um, all right so this is all about this a specific problem i'm trying to make some volvo videos of uh new videos because i know people have been asking me about volvo videos so i'm trying to do videos uh, i will try to do more videos about volvos but anyway um you have any questions about this video use the comment section below to ask anything um or if you wanna share opinions or wanna answer other questions of other subscribers you can do that as well if you want to uh, send support to my channel you can check the video description below where i have details how to send support to my channel so i can continue making helpful videos to everybody helpful videos like this ones then i know i want to help a lot of people over the road especially so like share subscribe and thank you for watching